Hi YouTube. Well, I wanted to do a very quick test of the iPhone 15 5 times lens and see how that performs. A friend of mine just uh, received his 15 Pro Max in the natural color, which you're seeing on screen right now. So here we are, 15, 5 times zoom. For some reason, no other YouTubers are showing the stabilization of the 5 times zoom lens, which is obviously critical to making it useful. This is me just hand holding the zoom lens and panning around. It's got a nice smooth pan. This is an HDR and I'm not sure the frame rate, it feels like 60 frames per second. I'll check that. I wanted to test as well what the 2.6 times lens is like. This is what that looks like, equivalent to my 2.5 times zoom on my 12 Pro Max because I you know if you want that intermediate zoom level this is what it will look like and it looks pretty good I'm not too worried about uh, missing out on that two and a half times lens all right now I'm zooming out to different zoom levels you can see what it looks like Then try to manual zoom. You can see a jump to when it switches to the five times lens. And now we're at 25 times the digital zoom, which is the most you can zoom in on the iPhone. And I'm just testing some panning around and holding it on shots. I wanted to see what the quality was like at 4K. This is the result. It's quite usable footage, surprisingly. Bit noisy. This is worst case scenario for compression algorithms on the internet. Lots of little uh, leaves. And we're back to normal five times zoom, so see how much sharper it gets. So I'm very impressed with the panning. It seems pretty stable. For the final test, I decided to walk towards uh, the van here and walk back away from the van while trying to hold it reasonably steady, but I wasn't trying too hard. And that's it. Hope that's useful. Thanks for watching.